Hundreds in Lafayette were asked to put on their dancing shoes for a day of dance and health awareness. News Channel 18's Ava Wilhite is live in the newsroom to tell us how healthy living and dancing go hand in hand. Hi, Ava. Well, hi, Kristen. February is Heart Health Awareness Month, and Franciscan St. Elizabeth Health wants people to be entertained by a day of dance and be aware of the dangers of not taking care of your heart. Organizers of Day of Dance want you to swing your partner around the floor and take your partner to be tested for heart disease. This is Heart Month, and so it's an important month for us to emphasize heart awareness. And the reason we emphasize heart awareness is particularly it is the number one cause of death in women. Jackie Baylor of Franciscan St. Elizabeth Health says providing heart health information can help save a life. To know your numbers. And some of those numbers that are important are your uh, cholesterol number, your blood pressure, your HDL, your LDL, your glucose. Baylor says dancing and movement comes natural to people. She says it's a great way to show people how to remain active and still have fun. Baylor says the dancing also attracts people that wouldn't be looking for health information in a shopping mall. Well, we saw dancing over there, so um, and there's a red everywhere, so I was just more curious um, what kind of information I could find about heart disease. Paramedic Dana Wislocki also saw a lot of visitors at her booth displaying heart attack treatment devices. Wislocki says if you feel signs of a heart attack, don't ignore it. We have a lot of patients that have denial. They start having a little discomfort in their chest or a little ear, uh, nausea, um, things like that. They think it might be something else. So the first thing we want them to do is activate 911. Wislocki says time is of the utmost importance. If you are having a heart attack and once paramedics arrive, they can start sending cardiac information to the hospital before you even arrive. Ava Wilhite, News Channel 18.